So here is an, uh, an old exam question where you were asked to find the indefinite integral of the cosine of the square root of x divided by the square root of x. So what we are will do here is we write it a little bit differently. So this is equals to cosine of the square root of x times 2 times 1 over 2 square root of x dx. Well, the reason why we do this is that we want to make a substitution u equals the square root of x. And if we do so, we find on the right hand side, we find du. So we may apply the substitution rule for indefinite integrals. So this is what we pursue. So u equals the square root of x. Then du is 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And now we're going to make this one step replacement so that we are left with the integral of the cosine of u du. Yeah, so we're left with 2 times the cosine of u du, which has as a primitive 2 sine of u plus c. And now we're going to substitute back for u. So this equals to 2 times the sine of the square root of x plus c. Yeah, please beware, we are treating indefinite integrals, so never forget the integration constant. The integral integration constant not always matters, but for some applications it's utterly important to have it. So here's another example. The integral of the tangent of x dx. Well, this can be written as the sine of x divided by the cosine of x dx. And what we are going to do is we're going to replace u equals the minus cosine of x. Well, the reason why we do this is that the sine of x is the derivative of this function. So we get the sine of x dx, uh, which is already present in the integral. So we can replace the sine of x dx by du if we would replace the cosine of x by minus 1 over u of about the cosine of x by minus u. So we get 1 over the cosine of x times the sine of x dx. So we write it in the format, just to be sure, in the format of the substitution rule. So we get the integral of minus 1 over u du, which has as primitive minus the natural logarithm of the absolute value of u. Yeah, we're not, we're not sure whether or not u is positive. So we use the absolute value sign and we obtain by substituting back u equals the cosine of u we get minus the natural logarithm of the cosine of x plus c so recall here that um, we made some we had a convention regarding the c right so and uh, function minus 1 over u over min, uh, minus 1 over x has has a primitive with which could have different constants on whether or not x is smaller than 0 x is larger than 0 so recall the conventions concerning the integration constant over here